Welcome back to another Torch review. I have the Wuben E346 in for testing today. This was supplied via Gearbest for review. This is at the budget end of the market, but we'll have a look through the packaging just to show you. We have two brightness levels with this particular torch, and it's about seven centimeters in length. Opening up the pack just to show you what you get included. You have the battery, micro USB cable. And you also have a keychain as well that you can attach Micro USB cable is quite nice, it's braided and has metal tips. And the battery 16340 is rated to 800 milliamps an hour and it also has an extended tip. I will have a look at that a bit later on and test it. This is the keychain that's included, quite a decent one. You have the ring on the end to attach it and this is just showing you attached to the torch if you want to attach it. Um, these are optional things. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'd say this is a little bit larger than some keychain torches that I've looked at. You also get a couple of spare O-rings. They've gone for the white look instead of the black. And just having a look at the torch, quite a nice solid feel to this. It's the same anodized aluminium that we commonly get on torches. Has a nice bit of knurling on the end of the torch, but not much apart from the grooves on the body. Looking at the LED, we have a smooth reflector with this, but it's fairly shallow, so we'll have a look at the beam shots later on. And on the base, you can tail stand this because you have the three points there. Just unscrew the base. You can see the contact points and there's a spring at the top of the torch. Insert the battery with positive terminal up. And we just screw that on. I'm going to test another battery with this just to make sure that it works. I'm curious why they have a longer contact point on the positive terminal. You'll see the markings on the head of the torch for off, low and the high. So we only have two power levels on this. Rotate clockwise to go through the power levels and anti-clockwise to turn it off. Pretty simple, can't really go wrong. And it, the threads actually feel nice on this, nice and smooth, they're already greased up. This is the lower power level and they just rotate around to get to the top. I'm showing it with two hands. It works okay one-handed on this because the tip has a decent bit of knurling, um, but I would prefer a bit more grip on the body. And this unscrewing the top completely, you'll see the contact point and the points inside the torch head. Now because the threads are long on this, you will see the length of them there. You can see the micro USB port too. It's also a little LED on there. The good news is that you don't have to completely remove the head of the torch to charge it. I'll just show you here, screwed up most of the way, but it won't come off. You can just plug in the micro USB port. Just a quick comparison, I have an i3s Olight here which is a AAA battery torch and this is an S1R baton a bit bigger than that it's not the smallest um, 16340 or CO1230 torch I've looked at but it is still pretty small and looking at the user manual that you get included we would have a habit of um, using very small fonts so I've zoomed in as much as I can on this just to show you. It's not too much detail. It's enough that you'd need to get going and it just gives you a bit of detail on the output and run times. So you're looking at about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes um, uh, full power output on this torch, which is okay. Um, waterproof test, no problems at all. I put this in my usual um, jar of water for about half an hour and no problems at all. Now the battery came back at just over the 600 milliamps an hour so it's a bit less than the label rating. It's not uncommon, that's about average for a decent quality cell. And looking at the charging rate, just under the half an amp you'll see the red LED light when it's charging. That's about a perfect charge for a battery of that size, you don't want a big charge. And once it's completed you'll see the LED turn to green did a voltage termination test to see how that stacked up and it was around about 4.19 so it does terminate the battery correctly. Just testing an Olight CR1238 rechargeable in the torch just to see if that um, if it works okay in torch charging and I'll just have to push in the micro USB and knock that out slightly and yep no problems that's nearly charged that battery anyway so you can use other cells with this Onto the beam shot, you can see a uh, hot spot in the middle, but it's fairly broad, and you also get decent illumination on the edges. I'm at a distance of around about 90 to 100 foot. I've gone from the low up to the high mode. 
You can actually see okay with the low mode in a fairly low light with adapted vision. The high mode is actually decent enough, around about 300. So what I did was compare it to the S1A baton with the nickel metal hydride seal at the high setting, which is around 220 lumens. So I reckon the 300, as I know the O light is pretty accurate, is quite close to the actual lumen output. Doing my wide angle test, starting off at the low, and then move up to the high. So you only have the two power levels with this torch, but if you only had two, that would be a fairly sensible way to spread the power out. And I put the O light at the 220 lumen mark. I can get a higher output on this with a lithium cell. I just wanted to give you a comparison. So different beam shots with these, quite different. A quick close up beam shot to show you that hot spot in the middle. So it has a bit of range. And onto the tree test, you can see here it's lighting up quite well. Even though it has a bit of range, as you next see next in the telephoto shot, it's actually got a decent bit of spill on the side. So you do, you're not just concentrated in the middle, you get a decent illumination. And then the low mode, I would say definitely more than enough power for most people if you're using the torch for general purpose. Down the side of the house, I'm just doing a quick test. We'll go from the low mode up to the high. There's a big jump, but the two power levels, it's designed really for convenience. I'd rather have two than just one. So I'll wrap up with a couple of summaries on the Woodman. I quite like this one for some reason. It's nicely built and I quite like the design. There is a couple of areas that I might change and I wouldn't mind a lower output mode, either a moonlight or possibly something like four or five lumens a touch more grip on the body. On the other hand, it's a good value offering and that micro USB port is very handy. A lot of these torches don't have that included. So that just means you can just get the torch and you get the battery, you don't need to get anything else. And I was quite happy with the power output on it as well. So it's quite a nice pocket everyday torch to look at. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was useful to you and don't forget to subscribe where I'll be looking at more torches in future videos.